Over the last week, I spent $100 on faking my Instagram. And here's why. I started this year with 19,000 followers on Instagram. And now four months in, I have over 83,000. So I think it's fair to say I'm a hashtag influencer. And as a hashtag influencer, it's my job to post my life. But wait, I don't leave my room and I can't take a good selfie to save my life. However, earlier this week, I found a page on Instagram called Beauty Fool. Now this page exposes influencers who have been caught photoshopping their photos. They show you what they actually look like compared to what they show you on Instagram. These models are fueling unrealistic goals for young people. People are seeing these photos and wanting to look like that. When a lot of the time, it's not even humanly possible. They make sure they get the right angles. They edit their bodies. They edit their faces. All to create this whole fake world on social media that we as the viewers desire. But it doesn't exist. It's not real. It's fake. And so, what am I going to do about it? I'm going to join them. I'm going to pay professional editors over the next week on Fiverr to Photoshop my pictures, making me look better, making me look fitter, and just making me look like I have a better life in general to see if I can trick my audience once again into believing that my life is better than it actually is. So for all the people that comment, I'm a B-Sec Quillen in the comments. I mean, I guess you're right, because I'm now going on Fiverr. The website where you can pay people a Fiverr to literally do anything. George Mason is the biggest catfish of 2019. Yeah, literally anything. <laughs> Subscribe to join the George Mason Mason. Yeah, it. Yeah, that cost me $10. So to start the week, I headed onto Fiverr to look for people that could fake my Instagram. And this is how it went. So what we're going to search is, we're going to search Instagram Photoshop. Okay, so first thing I'm noticing is nothing's a Fiverr. Why is this website called Fiverr? I thought everything was £5. That's disappointing. £4, £4. All right, that's good. And then you've got £24. What are you going to do for £24? So much for a fiver. So at this point, I realised I had no idea what I was doing. So I needed a plan. We're going to fake my Instagram for one whole week, uploading three Instagrams from three different sellers, from the three different price tiers, from cheap to average to expensive. I'm going to make the cheapest one the easiest to Photoshop because we're not paying them that much to do a lot of work. And as we go on by paying each seller, the photos will also be harder to Photoshop. And to make it a little bit more interesting, I've decided to add in some lifelines. The first being retouch. If you don't like the photo, I can go in and retouch it, but I can only do it on one photo. The second, phone a friend and get their opinion on the photo, what they think, how real they think it looks. And the third being redo, where I get a whole new person to do the photo again. But I can only use each of these lifelines once. And once I've used them, they're gone. To start off, we're just gonna start off with a nice retouch. As you can see, my skin's not grey. My hair's also not grey. I mean, nothing really about me is that grey. So, we're gonna get one of these people to just retouch our selfie. And hopefully people are just like, oh, he's just discovered face gym. He's having a great time. So, I then went around my house and attempted to take a selfie. Let's try and get the merch. In. The merch is coming very soon, guys. I took the selfies. I put them on my computer and looked through the selfies. Try and find one that's good, but not too good. But also good enough to upload on my Instagram when it is good. Does that make sense? It's not bad. I mean, I look pretty tired around my eyes here. Um, as you can see on my chin, I've got a few spots which are not the best. Okay, so we want the basic edition. The basic will get us one photo retouch. The photo retouching will make the person more beautiful in a way that the camera did not capture. <laughs> that's a nice way of saying I'm going to make you look better than you actually. Look. So we made the order £5.60. Alright, so here's the message I've sent our seller. Hey seller, I've attached a photo of myself. As you can see, I wasn't hashtag blessed in the looks department. So I need you to finish what God started. I want you to get rid of these spots on my chin and also the bags under my eyes. And whilst you're at it, just make me look better in general, but not too much better. I'm going to be uploading this onto my Instagram to try and impress my crush. Haha, <laughs> you could say I'm a catfish. I can't let my followers know that it's fake. I have a reputation to live up to. Anyway, make me beautiful and if you're feeling nice, compliment me in the reply to boost my self-esteem. My order is started and now all we can do is wait. Okay guys, it's the next day. I woke up and checked my emails. Hey George, thank you for your message and trusting me with your photo. You are plenty hashtag blessed. Well, she complimented me. Five pound well spent. Okay, so guys, I've got an email. It says our order is ready for review. We can now go on to Fiverr and see our final product. See what our five pound got us. So how do I even... Oh, messages. Here we go, here we go. What the hell have you... <laughs> I look <laughs> I look like Michael Jackson. I can't upload that to Instagram. Wait, let's just get a comparison. Uh, it's not that bad, but it just <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> Don't know if I like it. Hello, here is your delivery. Skin, eyes, nose, lips, and jaw <laughs> What? There's a long list. So much for hashtag blessed. So in an attempt to save the photo, I asked her to change my eyebrows to see if that'll make it a little bit better. And she did, and it didn't make it any better. Okay, so here's our new one. <laughs> I forgot how bad I look. I might have to use a 
lifeline. I, I don't know if I can upload this. So at this point, I decided to use my first lifeline, my redo. So I went back around my house to try and take another selfie, but this time in the sun, which didn't go so great. Oh, it's so bright. It's actually too bright. How do people actually take photos like this? But we carried on. I put them on my computer. I found a new seller. Explained to them I didn't want to look like Michael Jackson and made the order. Okay, guys, I just got an email. I think our order is done. I just got an email saying it was done. Okay, here it is. Removed blemishes, smoothed out the skin, highlighted the skin where it's naturally highlighted, intense some shadow to make the face look slimmer and remove the liquid from your lips as you wish. Also, I made your hair a little bit fuller. Does my hair not look full enough for you? <laughs> Sorry, pink edit. I didn't even ask you to do that. I mean, I appreciate it, but I'm also a bit insulted. It's actually all right. I'll take that. You know what? That's good. That's a big improvement. My face doesn't look as fat. My skin's clear. I'm happy with that. That looks really good. Did it really well. I didn't look like Michael Jackson, what I was worried about. Thanks. The biggest catfish of 2019 retains his title. That was a good use of our lifeline. And so we were ready and it was time to upload our first photo. The sun out in the UK must be Photoshop. So it's a bit of reverse psychology there, guys. You know, I'm like... It must be photoshopped, haha. <laughs> We're posting it, share. It's out there, it's posted. I mean, the thing about my Instagram is people are gonna comment photoshopped as a joke. Oh, <laughs> the first comment, fake. Second comment, nice face, thank you. It's photoshopped. <laughs> I'm gonna wait a bit until we get some more comments and I'll come back when we have. All right, it's been just over an hour since I uploaded the photo. So the most liked comment on the picture says, now we think it's a joke, but really there's a new video coming called, OMG, I pranked my Instagram followers into believing it's sunny in the UK. <laughs> You're not even wrong. Oh wait, oh my gosh. Your skin looks too good to be true. Photoshopping my face YouTube video. They're onto us. Oh my gosh, you guys are actually too good. For the first time, it's not Photoshop, but it is, it is Photoshop. Photoshop. You're cute. Are you photoshopped? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, it's so the next day. I woke up, checked my phone, and uh, it's bad news. It's happened again. We've lost followers. Every time I do a video on Instagram, I lose followers. Let's have a look at my Instagram social page. Look, gaining, 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 gaining. Oh, lost 49 followers. I've just got to make sure the next photos are a lot better, actual good photos, so people aren't like, wait, why am I following this guy again? So I knew what I had to do. I went back onto Fiverr, and I searched and searched for our next seller. I will bulk up and enhance your body in photos. Photoshop. I definitely need that to be done. I mean, that looks realistic. Create abs slash basic reshaping. And so we'd found that guy. We just needed a photo. There was only one place I could go. Well, it looks like I'm going to the gym. So I got changed and I ran all the way to the gym. But in the photo, I wanted to look hot. I wanted to look sweaty, like I actually go to the gym. So I went hard. I ran. I cycled. I lifted weights. I even boxed. <laughs> if you could call that boxing. <laughs> but we were ready. I posed, got my photo taken. But I didn't quite look sweaty enough. <laughs> so I had to resort to other options. I got my photo taken once again, looking all sweaty. I checked the new photos. We were happy with them. So I ran home and started to edit the photo. Oh, wait, I didn't. I went straight to bed. That's the most work I've done all year. <laughs> You're hard. My whole body aches. Yesterday was a mistake. Oh, I feel like there's a lot of work that can be done on my arm. And of course the legs, they could do with a lot of work. Hey broski, I need your help. I have an undercard fight coming up and need to scare my opponent with my big muscle. Can you make me look wham, like an absolute tank? But it needs to be realistic so you get scared. Also, don't forget my legs. They need a lot of work. Okay, our message is sent. Now all we've got to do is wait for a reply. <laughs> Guys, I've just been sent an email. He's done like a rough mock up of what it will look like when it's done. And uh, it looks looks great. So here it is. As you can see, I'm absolutely massive, but my legs are still tiny. It looks pretty good, to be honest. The legs don't really match, do they? I mean, we've got these massive arms and then these legs. I think it's fair to say I skip leg day. They need a bit more work. Update. Quran is now done. He sent me a message saying, how was this? I'm about to see it for the first time. So uh, here we go. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. I think my head looks too small. Oh, the knee. Look at my knee. My knee looks so messed up. This is the original. Oh my gosh. So uh, here's the original and here's the edited one. I look like a child here. I should probably start going to the gym a bit more. Oh my gosh, look how skinny my legs actually are. There, it's kind of messed up. He said he's gonna fix up the details like this bar because uh, makes it a bit obvious. And hopefully then he should be done. You know what, I'll take it, it's all right. But it has made me realize I really need to go to the gym. So I messaged him back saying that was good and asked him to fix the final details. And he did, but I still wasn't 100% happy with it. Uh, my legs. <laughs> 
<laughs> my legs look like a chicken drumstick. There's still kind of this, and like here it looks kind of weird. I might have to use my lifeline on this to go in myself and retouch it because uh, it needs a bit of retouching. So I used my retouch lifeline to go in and just fix a few minor details. However, of course, I still wasn't happy with it. Okay, so the phone's now on my phone. I've added a filter to it. I've tried to make it as good as it can be, but I'm still not 100% sure about it. I don't know what it is though. I can't really work out why it looks fake. I'm thinking about using my final lifeline and phoning a friend. I'm not actually going to phone him. It's 2019. <laughs> no one phones people. I'm going to send him a message with the photo and ask him what he thinks of it. Okay, so you know I said I was going to phone a friend. Um, we We've been left on red. It's been 10 minutes and uh, he hasn't replied. What a waste of a lifeline. Uh, if anyone wants to be a friend that will actually reply to my messages, comment down below. After leaving me on red for half an hour. Yeah, not too bad. Not sure about the face though. Slightly out of proportion. <laughs> The face hasn't been edited. Is he just saying my face is out of proportion? But he then gave me some advice. I need to rotate the bicep and also flex a bit more. I need to add some AirPods. So I did it. I rotated the bicep to make it a little more natural. And of course, I added the AirPods. <laughs> yeah, I know. They look exactly the same. It was a bit of a waste of a lifeline, not gonna lie. All right, so it is time. It's 6 p.m. I'm about to upload this photo. Calling out anyone who wants it to an undercard boxing match. I'm ready to KO anyone, including you, at KSI. <laughs> Hopefully people realise it's a joke and don't actually want to fight me. It is posted. <laughs> oh no. Alright, let's see the comments. Oh no. Oh, so I just said photoshopped. <laughs> Some people are actually believing it. Gains. <laughs> There's no gains here. Okay, so it's been just over an hour since I posted the photo. And he's gone a bit mad. We've already got 672 comments in an hour. Our last post got 758. So a lot of people were commenting on it, questioning it, saying, is it real? Is it fake? A lot of people were assuming it's fake. Someone commented, is that Photoshop? Just kidding. <laughs> it is Photoshop. <laughs> you didn't need to kid. You were right. That's not your body. Technically, it is me. It's just an enhanced version of me. Your Photoshop skills are improving. They're not. <laughs> I paid someone to do it. How's your arm that? big when your leg is that small. <sighs> My legs need more than Photoshop to help them. Okay, it's now the next day. The photo has gone, <laughs> the photo has gone interestingly. It hasn't gone great, but I wasn't expecting it to. Oh yeah, we also lost followers again. We lost 80 followers yesterday. Gaining, 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 gaining. Uploads, loses 49 followers. Gains, gains, gains. Uploads again, loses 80 followers. So the first comment, the most liked comment just says Photoshop. Just Photoshop. And that's got 353 likes. The next one, 1000% 1, Photoshop. <laughs> you skinny boy. 322 likes. Yeah guys, it's now time to move on to the final photo, the hardest of them all. So for the last photo, to make it the hardest of them all, I pulled out the big gun. My latest purchase, a green screen. I set it all up, but of course, it didn't go great. Okay, we've got a problem. I'm too tall for this green screen. I'm literally too tall for it. This wasn't a good purchase. But it didn't matter. I put the merch on and we took the photo. I headed back onto Fiverr for the final time. I tried to find the highest tier seller for the job. This was not going to be easy, but we found the one. I messaged him saying he could put me in any random location of his choice. I didn't care. All I cared about was that he had to put Balenciagas on my feet and AirPods in my ears. For all I care, put me on the moon, as long as I'm flexing. And I also said, wherever you put me, just try and make it look realistic like I'm actually there. But Valmir messaged you back and he wasn't confident. He didn't believe in himself. So I had to give him some inspiration. Valmir, you've got this. I believe in you. Dude, don't hype me up like that. Look, Valmir, the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place. And it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Yeah, I literally stole this off of Rocky. <laughs> it's inspirational, though. Yes, I know. I am amazing. Valmir believed in himself. He was finally inspired. He worked overnight for hours on the photo. And I woke up and it was ready. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. Our final Instagram photo has been photoshopped. The order has been delivered. And now it is time to see our final product. We've got no lifelines left. Whatever this is, I've got to use it. Here you go. Hope this brings a smile on your face. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, he's changed it. He's changed it three times. I'm nervous. He, he's obviously not that confident in it. What is it? I mean, <laughs> it does not look realistic at all. But that is only the first one. I think he might have changed it. Hopefully. Uh, that cost me $40. <laughs> okay, last night I was really tired. This morning I decided to take a look at it. I decided to do some changes. <laughs> Please be better than the first. 
Looks exactly the same. <laughs> Where even is this? Looks like Hogwarts. This is the final one. I don't really like the background I did on the other images because it was looking a bit fake. You can say that again. <laughs> so I decided to redo it somewhere else. <sighs> Please be realistic. Okay. I mean, it, it looks better, but it still doesn't look real. <laughs> I think my favorite thing about this photo is I said you could literally put me anywhere in the world. He could have put me on the other side of the world in Australia, in China. But no, he, he just put me on a bridge. <laughs> Out of all the places in the world, he put me on a bridge. Best $40 I've ever spent. Okay, so I went out and I've just come back. It's six o'clock. It's time to post the photo, but I've just had another look at it. <laughs> and I've realized how bad it is. It's so obvious. I can't believe how much it cost me as well. There's nothing. There's literally nothing I could do about it either. Literally everyone is gonna comment on this saying fake. It looks so bad. But I had no choice. My poor planning had led to this. I used all my lifelines. I put all my trust in Valmir and this is what he gave me. So we had to upload it. This was it. Sure. It's so bad. It's just so bad. I can't believe I actually uploaded that. Fake. I can't even argue. It just is. So the photo's been up for a few hours. Uh, we've got a lot of comments. It's really not good. This one looks so fake. And I honestly can't tell whether this is for a video or just for fun anymore. You look like a cardboard cutout. Is it just me or have your photoshopping skills gotten worse? In my defense, they haven't. It's not my photoshop. I have trust issues, George. Every time you got Balenciagas on your feet, I instantly know it's photoshop. Yeah, that was a bit of a giveaway to be fair. Balenciagas and AirPods, you just know it's fake. You didn't even try. I couldn't try. I used all my lifeline. What could I do? Oh. Uh... They're just all saying Photoshop. I can't read anymore. I need to go to sleep. So I went to bed a defeated man. I thought paying people on Fiverr would give me better Photoshop, but it didn't. It just made it worse. I paid $40 to get embarrassed. This was the worst Instagram photo I've ever uploaded. But there was light at the end of the tunnel. I woke up, checked my phone, and I couldn't believe what I saw. So I uploaded the photo last night, and you all saw how bad it was. And literally no one believes it. I'm not surprised. It, it wasn't great. But the photo has got 17,000 likes in 90 hours. It's got 3,700 comments. But why has it got so many likes? It's so bad. I don't understand. It's so bad. And for the first time, we haven't lost followers. How has this happened? The worst photo I upload gets the most likes and the most comments. I I'm really confused. If I want to get likes on Instagram, do I have to just really badly edit my photos? The first one's got 13,000 likes. The second one's got 12,000. And this one's got 17,000. The one that doesn't look real. Well, I guess the $40 were worth it for 17,000 likes I'll take it you know what this is a win no matter how bad it is no matter how much it costs it's one of my most liked photos I'm happy with that I'll take it I might just upload badly edited photos from now on <laughs> if that's what you want to see and so guys that is the end of our week paying people to fake our Instagram I'm honestly quite surprised with the results I'm surprised the worst photo got the most like I really don't know how that worked I'm thinking maybe because it got more comments than the other ones just because so many people were calling out maybe Instagram were like wait he's getting loads more comments than he usually gets Surely that's got to be a good thing, even though they're all calling me out for Photoshop. But if that is the case, I guess there is literally no such thing as bad publicity on Instagram. Because even if people give you hate saying your photos are fake, Instagram will promote them more. No wonder everyone does this. Oh, and I've got one more surprise for you. This is a green screen. But as the biggest catfish of 2019, I had to get it. What's a catfish without a green screen? I don't know if you'll be able to comment on this video because all my comments on my channel have been disabled for some reason. It's not just me, it's happened to loads of other channels. It's really annoying. So if they are disabled, make sure you go to my Instagram or my Twitter and let me know what you thought of the video because honestly, the comments to me are like the most important thing. And finally guys, if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe to join the George Mason Nation. But yeah guys, it's been George Mason TV. If you have enjoyed, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. It's been George Mason over and out. Boom.